Hey guys and welcome back to the Wild Darkness No Death Run. This is long overdue but I had to do some other things. And I realized that um, this run is horribly unoptimized. So from now on, I'm going to try to optimize everything I do in this run. Or at least to the best of my knowledge. As you can see, we are on day 304 without dying. I'm going to try to progress as much as possible using some strategies which I guess will make the game easier for us. Um, mind you, it's been so long since I played this account so I might need some time getting used to the map or at least the first 5 or 6 um, areas anyway. So let's get right into it. Okay, from the looks of it, I'm I'm currently on the Ruins of Light 3. So my next goal will definitely be the Ruins of Light 4. At level 48, I should technically be able to do it. I don't know why I haven't done it yet. Um, but we'll see. I just realized, I haven't, oh my. I haven't fully explored this place and I suddenly remembered why I did not fully explore this area. Oops. Oh, what? Did I just walk on top of my minions? I never knew we could do that. Anyway, there we go. Ooh, we got another meat. And what's here? Nothing. Ooh. Skeleton Staff plus 3. Poison Weapon and Frost Blow. Not bad. It's a plus 3. It'll be worth some money when I sell it. Don't particularly need um, Frost Blow. But I could use the Poison Weapon. I could transfer it to a better piece of equipment later on. You know what? I'm gonna head into the dungeon and see if I missed anything in there. Okay, um, the way, I, the way I understand the deep well is that it gives you a random item as long as you throw something down there, right? So where exactly are we going to next? Cold terrain. Ah, we need to look for the extreme heals. There's cold terrain 4 over there, so we'll head over there right now and see if we can find anything new. My current objective is really just to get a get a um, refrigerated pot so I can start storing food instead of having to get a new batch every time I need food. Ah, yeah, well, that seems to be a problem. Um, Cold Terrain 4 is blocked by a rock with a crevice. I I know I do have the two explosives. Hmm. I guess we can always access the Cold Terrain from the Barren Valley, so that's not a problem. Let's go ahead and go home for now. And we'll take inventory before going there again. Oh, a mana lump. Neat. I gotta remember this because mana, mana lumps, unlike most um, mineral type resource, actually respawn. So there's a fun fact for you. They do respawn and they usually respawn at the same spot also. Which makes them a great, uh, great source of mana molts. If you do have a couple of mana lumps, you can list down the their locations on your on your memo pad and you can cycle through them just like you would cycle resources and we have once again arrived at cold terrain one um, i'm gonna switch into this one it's clearly much weaker than the light armor it doesn't have the enchantment either but it provides thermal which is always good and we are back at this place um is that an identify over there? Nope, that's magic 
weapon repair. Let's actually turn on our torch because it is cold place. Go ahead, use plus three cursed. Ah, eh. remove the curse here. All right, let's see. Charged rotting weapon. No. Oh no. Okay, I'm definitely gonna remove the charge. It's horrible. Toughness, disarm. This arm is pretty good, um, but the rotting weapon and the uh, charged, not so good. So, so not the best. Actually, before we do that, apparently if I do this, I can get rid of any cursed on the chest if there was any. Light purification removes cursed on chest. A wild spring here of all the places. So the wild spring does regenerate every single every single day here which great but my problem is this isn't exactly a place that is easy to access for me it's kind of out of the way cold terrain one you know so yeah Ooh. still it's there which is a good sign Unidentified Knight Sword. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. Um, a Silver Great Sword would have been nice too, but so so. Okay, missing something here. Where is the dungeon? Ooh, two Jinsens. It's my second Jinsen in this area. Okay, this place like Jinsen Heaven. I never knew that Jinsen grew in such cold weather, but all right. More bees? No, I, I want more bees, but I do not want to deal with having to walk all the way um, home and then all the way back here again. Honey, honey, oh, double honey. Frozen heels, finally, yes. Though I shouldn't be here right now, it's it's in the night. I should go there in the morning when there's less, you know, cold threatening to murder me. Oh, wow, okay. I'll take it, I'll take it even more ginseng. Damn. All right, let us rush through this without a care in the world and get the boss and go home so that we can build whatever we need to build This is such a wasteful way of using honey, but like, I don't really care at this point. I just need some sort of food. And I can't exactly make ginseng tea either, so, oopsie, don't work, don't work, don't work. It just makes a roasted ginseng, which, you know, not good. And I'm out of branches, perfect, so I won't be able to build a um a campfire here but that's fine go enter the boss room it's that tree thing i forgot to do a lot of things okay drink the courage potion apply it on my master of battles apply the frost potion on my master of battles apply this poison potion on my master of battles Apply this energy potion on my master of battles. And then eat shit. Ho oh, ho, look at that man, this is easy. Come on, he didn't even put up a fight. <laughs> Still, given how much 20% increase in damage from the potions I got, it makes sense. 
And with our light tablet, we can finally... Oh god. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. We can finally... Um, make that oh so important. Oh wow, there was two of them. No wonder why there was so much poison. Ah, oh, uh, 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 I'm triggering all the bad things. No, I need to build my ruins of light. Kill all of these. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. What's with all that then? Okay, there we go. Ruins of light. Oh, that is way too far. And perfect, we have just enough to repair. Yes, yes, let's go home, ladies and gentlemen. We're going home. Whew, okay, that was an adventure and a half. That only took us like less than 50 days to do, actually. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my time, clear away all of these areas that I rush through, including the dungeons probably gonna take me another 100 or 50 days i'm gonna record everything though i won't show it to you if there is any any if there is any close calls i will put that there otherwise you're gonna see a massive time skip and we are back um so what happened right uh i managed to clear away every single dungeon that i rushed through except the ancient mine and i have also upgraded my Master of Battles with one by one tier. And I got a five levels, I think. I'm not quite sure. So right now we're gonna go finish off the ancient mine. Hopefully kill the rotten mine leader. And I forgot to bring all of my potions. Ooh, an altar of god. Alright. Okay, so the way the altar of god works is that if you have something of a certain value and you put it give it to the altar of god it will give you something of equal value back usually higher even um well i'm not sure about i'm not completely sure if that's true but that's just my hypothesis because yeah you need a lot of testing to prove stuff like that and well, the developers are very kind in giving some stats, like for example, the drop rates when you're opening ruins. They are very tight-lipped about a lot of the mechanics of the game, which I completely understand, because if they just give us uh, the entire walkthrough, there's no point in playing the game, right? So before I faint from exhaustion, gonna sleep. Why do I have the sleeping bags? They're taking up an inventory space. I don't need it. Fortunately, I got a question marked porridge from eating fish with salt stew. I don't know why. I don't particularly need these straw sleeping bags. So I'll just let them burn. Provide me with some warmth. And let's move on to the boss. What? Oh, this is the mine shaft. Not working. Okay. Yeah, I don't plan on fixing it just yet. Okay. Before we go, um apply this. Apply this. Apply this. I did not bring an energy potion, but that's fine. Turn on our poison weapon. And drink our courage potion. Let's roll. Look at that. Come on. Bam. Easy. Didn't even need to put down a campfire. Ooh, an artifact blueprint. Nice. Let's see what it is. Dark Commandment, ah, mm. I mean, we could always go for the Dark Lord route this game, but I actually don't want to go that route. It's fine. Uh, 
artifact blueprints are easy to come by. Okay. Next up, I guess it's the Burning Valley, Burning Canyon. But for that, uh, but before that, I'm gonna have to go through another round of farming for resources. Hopefully, I can get that refrigerated pot because I really need to store my food somewhere. All right, we have our first batch of black cast iron which I'm obviously gonna use to upgrade my armor bench and weapon bench. Um, I'm actually not quite sure where I left off, but I managed to make the power controller over here. So right now, I'm gonna hope I get some good rolls. If you don't know, the way armor bench and workbench work and weapon bench works is that every time you upgrade them, there is a there's an RNG on which equipments you will unlock, which equipment blueprints you will unlock. So I'm gonna go ahead, upgrade them. Let's see, Basculus Armor and Brigandin. I've never unlocked the Brigandin, Brigand, Brigandin, whatever. But the Basculus Armor is top tier, right? Let's see the Weapon Bench, Silver Great Sword, yes! Mythic arrow, perfect. The great sword is what I wanted, so. Ooh, and a chest to boot. Okay, we now have our first refrigerated pot. I'm not sure when my recording stopped. Anyway, as I was saying, um, this is gonna be a long farming time jump since now I have my refrigerated pot. I can make sure my food doesn't spoil. And I will want to be stockpiling a crap ton of food, which I will be using later on during um, exploring. Yeah. So long farming time jump, go. And we, sir, are back. Um, Alright, so what's new? Nothing's new. I just got a pot of food and some herbs. I got another ginseng. Like, holy cow, I have so much ginseng. I was even able to craft another two healing potions. As you can see here so now I have like so much potions anyway so what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go clear away the dwarven mine first things first though we have to stock we have to stock up on some food I've got plenty unfortunately I do not have any preserved ones but um we're eventually we're gonna cook this anyway so it doesn't matter if it rots or something uh, I, I'm just not sure how much I should be taking with me. Ooh, lucky us, there's some water here. So if you don't know, um, in the, in the Burning Canyon, you basically burn up super fast. So if you do have some water blocks, you just walk a bit inside of it and the heat will dissipate. Because as long as you're wet, you don't actually overheat. There we go, coolness plus 10, that's what I'm talking about. When you're wet, you get coolness plus 10. I don't know what happened with the previous water puddles. Maybe those were like lukewarm water, maybe that was like a hot spring or something. But coolness plus 10 when you're in water, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, I found a dark cave, but I'm gonna once again hold off on exploring any of these caves until I have gotten the Ruins of Light so that travel traveling will be a lot easier. Ooh, neato! Small Fountain of Health. Fun fact, Fountains of Health give recovery potions. For what reason they do that? I don't know, man. It's called the Fountain of Health, but gives a recovery potion. Like, beats me, man. Beats me. I'm not sure if this is going to give me the Ruins of Light. I do not know, because it has been quite some time indeed since I last reached this point. Okay, so the Unknown Ruins is over here. Hmm. 
how do I plan on going about this? I will rush to get the Ruins of Light. Then as soon as I get the Ruins of Light, I will rebuild the... The, the, the... I will get the tablet and rush the Ruins of Light. So I can rebuild that. And hopefully... On my way back... Wow, that's a huge bat. On my way back, I will be able to repair it. And we don't have to like go through the trouble of walking all the way here again. Is this it? This is the floor, right? Okay, this is the floor. Boss room time. I rushed through the entire dungeon. I didn't bother exploring. I didn't pick, bother picking up a lot of the things. But I got to the boss room and that's all that matters for now. I'm gonna do that. I probably should have made the salad. I probably should have made the salad. It doesn't matter. It's fine. Um... I would love to make... I'm not sure what this does. Does this lower my energy? Yeah, it does, unfortunately. I know the garlic raises my energy a bit. Okay, boss room. Um, am I worried? No, not at all. I didn't bring all of my potions, but I was able to pick some up on my way here. So, this is like more than good enough. Plus, I got so much other... Um, so much other healing and recovery potions so i should be completely fine no problemo activate my poison weapon what's your name what's your name again um right right what should i be doing what should i be doing uh flash strike let's go Hmm, my damage is significantly weaker without the, without the other potions supporting me, unfortunately, but I'm more than strong enough to finish this guy off. Uh, <laughs> if I had remembered to heal up on energy, that is. Still not worried in the slightest. There we go. Bada bing, bada boom. And damn, son. An unidentified black steel sword. Good stuff. Here's our light tablet. We'll just repair it on our way back home. And then we can also pick up the... Oh, let's not take that one. <laughs> we can also pick up... Um, All the other stuff that I didn't bother taking. Uh, okay, um, I think I lost like a crap ton of footage. But basically what happened was I managed to reach the boss room. And I realized I didn't have enough um, potions. So I went back and then I restocked. And now I'm trapped between all these things. So I'm going to do that. There's so much dwarf skeletons. How many dwarves died down here? Man, they're mining. Um, they're mining. Safety procedures are hard. Well, oh no, fudge. I keep stepping on traps. My god. So anyway, I will just quickly get through this level. Then I'll go fight the boss. I also went back and got all the materials I will be needing to fix the um, ancient mithril forge so I will never have to come back here ever again. Speaking of which, I'm gonna just do this, heal myself up a bit. Yeah, there we go. Perfect, perfect.
All right, um, we are here at the boss room. Woo, yeah. After a long, long journey, I am ready to beat the hell out of this Dwarven Miner. Okay, so first things first, we will potion up. Um, I'll drink the Swiftness Potion. I'll apply the Darkness Potion. I'll drink this. And then I'll drink this. And let's go. Dwarven Miner, where you at, boy? Not Dwarven Miner, a Dwarf Robot. Okay, let's see. Did I forget anything? I did not. This is as strong as I get, right? Courage, Poisonous Weapon, Swiftness, Blessing, Wet, Cold. Why do I have cold? It's like 30, 33 degrees out. Because I drank the ice potion, indeed. Okay, um... Yeah, my weapon is as strong as it gets for now, too, so let's do this. Okay, let's see what you got, boy. Um, let's stand here, then do this. Confirm destroy. Bam! Blam, blam, blam. Let's break this. We want to break them as soon as they spawn so that he doesn't get to heal. There we go. Level 70. That wasn't too bad. Um, oh, we got another mana crystal. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, let's see. Dwarven relic piece. Obvious, a bunch of food. No, I think I just got the licorice tea and the soybean oil. Okay, that wasn't especially lucrative, but I'll take it. And lo and behold, the broken ancient mithril forge. Gonna repair it so I will never have to come back here ever again. Except I need to fix the dark relic and the dwarf relic pieces. Of course, of course. Well, we're on day 475. I think this could technically be accounted for as day 500 since I will probably be spending the next 25 days farming for resources anyway. And here we are on the eve of the 500th or 499th day. I'm trying to trade for some artifacts here with my branches as you can see. Slowly passing time, we reached 500 days without dying, and I guess I could just finish an ending in the next episode, then I will resurrect this character to see what he can give me, because I only need to keep one account around. So yeah, as always, till next time.